what I tell you, Ted? Funland's coming to Craggy Island. It'll be here Saturday. Oh, yes, this is the fairground thing. I'll, <laughs> I wouldn't have much interest in that type of thing myself, to be honest. <laughs> They've got a spider baby. <laughs> a what? A spider baby. You know, it's kind of a freak show thing, you know? It's got the body of a spider, but it's actually a baby. And... <laughs> How is it a baby? Does it have a nappy on it or something? No. Well, um, does it have the head of a baby? Um, no. Well, if it looks like a spider and it doesn't actually gurgle at you or anything, how do you know it's actually a baby? They keep it in a pram. <laughs> Dougal, are you absolutely sure about this? You're not confusing it with the dream you had or anything? <laughs> no, honestly, I, I saw it on the news. Uh, honestly, I, I, oh, oh, wait now, actually. Now that you said it, it was a dream, yeah. <laughs> have you been studying this like I told you? Oh, I have, Ted, I have, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that, but we should go anyway, Ted. Come on, it'll be great. Uh, last year I had to go with the horse riding and it was just fantastic. I didn't know you could ride horses. <laughs> well, it wasn't a real horse, Ted, like... Uh... <laughs> It was this old fella with a saddle on him. <laughs> God, he, he must have been about 80, you know. <laughs> of course, he couldn't go very fast. Like, you know, I was kind of lashing him with the whip and all that. But <laughs> couldn't get much of a response out of him, you know. And uh, how long were you up on him? Oh, I'd say it was about... Uh, about an hour. <laughs> so, you were up on an 80-year-old man, riding him around and whipping him for 60 minutes. You realise that image will stay with me for the rest of my life. <laughs> I know, Ted, yeah, it's great, isn't it? Come on. Forget all about it. Just forget about it. Just do not mention the sun. Have you got that? I have, Ted. The lights are on, but there's nobody home. <laughs> Father Crilly, Bishop Redden is here. Hell's bells. Right, show him in. Dougal, now remember, not a word about the sun. <laughs> Hello, Bishop. How are you? Come on in. Sit down. Sit down there, Your Grace, beside uh, Father Dougal. <laughs> Mrs. Doyle, some tea, please. Oh, certainly, <laughs> How's the sun? What? The son of God! How's the son of God? How's everything in the world of religion? <laughs> the world of religion? What the hell are you talking about, Crilly? Well, you know. Oh, Mrs. Doyle, let me sign that tea. <laughs> here I am, here I am. <laughs> OK, one last time. These are small, but the ones out there are far away. <laughs> Small, far away. <laughs> I forget it. Oh, God, Ted, look at that. There's a dent in the car. What? There's the dent. Just there, Ted. God, how did that happen? It must have been when you hit that fella on the bike. Don't let that anyone do. He was all right anyway. I saw him getting up. Not too bad. Sure, you can just straighten that out with the tap of a hammer. Have a look in that box over there. Whoops! I <laughs> didn't mean to do that. I'll just tap it the other way. It's no use, Ted. You'll never get it absolutely right. Are you all right, Your Grace? Uh, yes, I, 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 I had a minor heart attack last year. I uh, have to take it easy. I 
got a bit of a fright there. Uh, right. <laughs> it's not a problem, but if you could uh, just give us a bit of a warning when you're going to do anything sudden. Ah! <laughs> Julian, what are you doing? <laughs> Sorry, Ted. I just remembered Aliens is on after the news. <laughs> For God's sake! I'm sorry, Bishop Jordan. Did you not hear what he's saying about his heart? I know! It's just, it's the director's cut. Come on, everyone, let's all have a big lad's night in. Do them. Do them just, just show up. <laughs> a heart attack? <laughs> That's rare enough these days. <laughs> there were certainly a lot of prayers said for Bishop Jordan. I don't Jordan know why we can't look at there. aliens. Dougal, Bishop O'Neill is speaking. But they'd love it, Ted! No, they wouldn't. <laughs> Bishops love sci-fi. Dougal, we are not watching aliens! <laughs> anyway, back to religion. <laughs> I don't know. Dougal, <clears throat> aren't you uh, going to introduce me to your friend? Oh, this is uh, Father Damo. How are you? Hello, Father. Playing the old computer game there? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Father Ted Crilly speaking. Yes, ah! <laughs> Father Frost. Yes. Yes, I'll tell him. Uh, Father Damien, uh, Father Frost says you're to go home. Your tea is ready. <laughs> tell him I'm not going. I'm having dinner here. Oh, are you? <laughs> yeah. Hello, Father. <laughs> uh, no, he's staying here for dinner. <laughs> um, uh, Father Damien, Father Frost said you're to go home immediately. Shoy! Did you tell him I'm having dinner here? Uh, yes. Well, time to flick off, then. <laughs> He's happy enough here for the moment, Father. <laughs> right. Uh, OK. Father Frost said if you don't come home now, he'll come down and get you. Yeah, tell him that's fine. I don't care what he does. He's not the boss of me. <laughs> right. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm going. Tell him I'm going. I'll see you, Dougal. Dougal, mind this for me. Oh, yeah, right. I get them off you later. Frosty hates me smoking. OK, Demo. You're praying, yeah? No, no, they're, uh, they're, they're Ted's. <laughs> See ya, right? See ya. <laughs> Dougal! Oh, God, what's he want now? We have to lose that sax solo. God, Dougal, you should have seen him. He's just a shadow of a sheep. I'm not surprised, Ted. If I was a sheep, I'd be watching my back right now. <laughs> Why? Because of the beast. They say it's as big as four cats, and it's got a retractable leg so as it can leap up at you better. <laughs> but you know what, Ted? It lights up at night, and... Uh, it's got four ears. Two of them are for listening and the other two are kind of backup ears. And its claws are as big as cups. And for some reason, it's got a tremendous fear of stamps. <laughs> Mrs Doyle was telling me that it's got magnets on its tail. So as if you're made out of metal, it can attach itself to you. And instead of a mouth, it's got four arses. Dugan! <laughs> it's a legend. It doesn't exist. Right, Ted. The way the Phantom of the Opera doesn't exist. The Phantom of the Opera doesn't exist! Look, I'm not going to get into this what does exist and what doesn't exist debate again, OK? But I'm going to have to insist you add those last two examples to the chart. But, Ted, Dougal!
No, I'm more worried about that bet I put on Chris becoming king of the sheep. You don't think he'll win, then? No burping sheep has ever won it. What about Big Brendan in 1983? Fluke. Anyway, it's just the heating budget. <laughs> ah, and look what the weather news says. Jim, that's last year's weather news. What? This is this year's. <laughs> oh, no. Look, I'll have to go and see if John and Mary will let me take my money back tomorrow. I might go down with you, see if they've got another sound effects album. Volume 5. Fair enough. Good night, then, Dougal. <sighs> <laughs> Mrs. Millet, two pints. Two pints. <laughs> two pints of milk. Hands! <laughs> Father! Oh my God! Two pints. Uh, two pints. Two pints. There you go. <laughs> Bye then. <laughs> Yeah! 